All right, people, this is free 3 multiplayer. You are able to do it solo, even the one where you've gone from inside people. Show you, I'm just gonna do a quick little thing three rounds each, three minutes each. So, this should be about nine, ten minute video. I'm hoping maybe a little longer. This is in the scenario Fresh Fish for Soul King. Let's go. Launching. Now, the thing is, Soul King, your best souls and all that junk. This is, there's a trophy for getting 25,000 souls across all rounds in one match. So, basically, you gotta get 25,000 souls in one match. Thing is, it doesn't mean you gotta get 25,000 kills. You just gotta get 25,000 points. And the things, and the point values are not one for each soul. There's ones up for the 300 if they're the riot shield fuckers. Or if they're guys in like red armor with shotguns or 200. It changes depending on what you kill. Okay, I am a specter, I am a ghost, I have the stun. Cut a stun blast. Don't know, I just fired a dud. Possession. Alright, where are they? Collect one soul. Those souls are worth 10 points each. Alma. Do not shoot Alma. Be careful of even going near her. She summons little. Oh, that soul is worth 20. Also, the color of soul, you can allow to tell the point value. Don't shoot Alma. She will. Freaking someone a scavenger that is harder to kill than normal is blue to attack and kill you. I will probably s cause that to happen in a later round. This guy is running out of ammo. I'm gonna possess this rapper. Got myself an AR. Ah, oh, green, green. And if you ever know, if you're listening and you can actually hear them, I'm not sure if you can, the specters. There's the ghost that the players are turned into for this. Ah, oh, so it's weird. Talk a lot of shit. Let's see. And I'm being shot at. This just all the killing actually makes this a little fun just to play even by yourself. Okay, I'm about to get killed out of his body, so I'm gonna put this new one. You can just jump from body to body on like packs where you have to leave the body. Which, uh, they really make great use of the possession mechanism for this mode. I mean, the possession mechanism on itself is a nice little add into the game. Because you don't need to play as pac but really, I like that they did that and that you have kind of co op. You can have, I think it's upwards of five rounds or more. I will. And minimum round is three with a minimum time of three minutes, which is why I have it set to it for a quick little video. Check down. This is on, there's three stages for each multiplayer mode, which you don't even have to go. The only problem is really the matchmaking. It does not exist. It's just like Fear 2 where someone needs to host and you look, oh look, I can join, and blah blah blah. You were just walking through. No, you still have your side kick. Side kicking and plus shotgun equals you good. Six, five, four, kill. Also, one of my friends always complained about fear to this shot. That was weird. Always complained about the shotgun and fear to being too weak. Well, they fix that. Get up close to an enemy, knock them with it, especially in the face, they will probably explode. Okay, round two. I just saw like this and then some more. Ooh, I got riot gear. So we have a riot shield and a, um. Oh, I am possessing this guy. This is the arc theme. It is basically a Wunderwaffe on uh, awesomeness. I like it on the stage. I've never had to do with this one before. Oh, okay. His right shield's fucking protecting him. Fuck you. What's great about it is the, the arcing fact of it. Okay. 
there's two 300 point um souls of get out of my way sir 30 points oh that must have been on the other stage that was just 300 it also depends on what stage you're on looks like how sad I am to leave that body and put my head behind. And really, switching between bodies is so easy and nice. You can't really run with the riot gear though, but you don't need to. Reloading animation for it. Someone threw a flashbang. The new little piece of Swordman Fear 3. Yeah, the flashbang, the frag, and the shock grenade, which is basically a little bit of both. Who is shooting at me? Why does every enemy except that one I could There we go. I both love it this on the stage and hate it, because it's either this or the freaking um annoying enemy that has the freaking riot shield. Basically I think I just possess a freaking face caster. Might as well fucking phase tech. I will probably later. I will do a video of, of contractions. I will have someone with me on that one, and I will show you the. Oh yeah, that was a phase caster. Forty points. God damn it! Kind of phase caster. Okay, my body died in that explosion. <sighs> Sir, you don't melee me. I melee you. For the record, easy way to kill these guys, especially on this game mode. Just freaking throw a grenade and make sure it hits their thing. I'm sad to leave that body. It had such an awesome weapon. The Wunderwaffe! The Yawk Beam! The awesome! The freaking hands are all meaty. I've noticed that. Just the camera's like tilting, I think. Okay. Whoa! Alright, I have the Briggs SMG, which is basically a UMP 45. I'm being shot at with a shotgun, which I will get the actual names to you later. Once I, I will probably do that during the story mode stage. I haven't yet to memorize them, except for the submachine gun and the laser, oh, and the riot gear, obviously. Shit, 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 shit. If you die, you lose half your soul. So I don't want to die. I will possess. No, just like in story mode, you can't just go. If your thing runs below a certain point, you can't possess right away. It has the gauge has to be refilled. Now, luckily for me, my gauge is higher than I'm getting because of well, the leveling system being in my favor. Even offline play levels you up, which I like. It helps. This is an animated video so far, so this probably will be about 10. I know this is 9 already, damn. Yeah, it's gonna be like 10 11 minutes. <sighs> I'm gonna kill this guy with the pistol. New pistol is, is good and bad at the same time. Unless you pre order at GameStop, in which case you have the DLC weapon, the hammer, which is a pistol went for when you are in multiplayer on co op in last stand if you get. You get killed, you basically go into last stand, like in Call of Duty, if you have the perkness, like second chance on if you have, or it's Black Ops, or last stand if it's Modern Warfare 2 or some other one. Now, as such, the hammer has, the hammer is a 50 caliber pistol, which the backstory to it is that it actually packs some titles original pistol from when he was alive. It is a red 50 caliber pistol. It has less ammo per round than the normal pistol, which has 12 per round. The hammer has 7. I've tried it out. Now, the thing is, to use it, if you download it, you need to go to and you try to figure out where it is. 
need to go to DLC and it's some you need to go to settings, go to DLC and set the DLC to hammer. It's one right of normal. Now, thing is you also need to have be playing co-op and get down. It's only available when you're in second chance. But it is powerful. I killed a guy in one hit with it. I love it. It's basically the sniper rifle in your hand. Which 50 caliber there. Ah, uh, no less kill. Alright, and that is Soul King. Obviously not against anyone else, but whatever. Okay, hit extra return to lobby and come on. You know what? I'm going to show you what I was talking about. Options, game settings, downloadable content, and mine is set to hammer. Normal, no hammer. Hammer! It's hammer time! Limited blood? Hell no. Low violence? Hell no. Oh, you know, I'm gonna play on subtitles just for the hell of it now. Alright. Peace out, YouTube.